Are you fed up that it's taken so long for people outside of um, Manchester in the North West to catch up with you? No. No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have an LP out, did we? So that's why people have heard of us. They didn't, they didn't have a chance to hear our songs before. But that's not always the case. A lot of bands from out, from certain areas might um, can get followings all over the country. If you put good records out early on, yeah, but we didn't. Are you bitter then that journalists are sort of falling over themselves to talk to you now? No. No, not bitter at all. They're on our case. Um. Do you think that Stone Roses have got an insecure way of life, or do you think being in a band is quite insecure? You have to tell me why you thought we were insecure. Sorry? I don't think we're insecure way of life, no. Well, you never know whether people are going to buy your records, and you never know whether you're going to make enough money to live, are you? Yeah, but that's not why you're doing it, is it? You just fall into something, you don't think about the security of it. Otherwise you'd never get anywhere. Has anyone ever said anything about the band that really, really hurt? That were influenced by the 60s. Keeps me awake at night. Is that all? You can't hear everything else has been a huge compliment. You can't get sensitive over what people are going to say about your group. You've got to be prepared for that from the start. People always have their own opinions. So you, you can't lose sleep over it. It's just a sick this thing. It's because we write songs and we've got tunes. Depressing. <laughs> What's the best thing that anybody's ever said about the band then? John? Ian? We're not that interested in the band, really, to tell you the truth. Do you think that um, you're going to be one of those bands that people cite as an influence in years to come, or would you like to be like that? Hopefully people will form groups as a result of seeing us. Hopefully we show people that you don't have to be... crap to get anywhere. Yeah, hopefully. It's been quite a struggle for you, you were saying that all your last singles were crap. Not the last singles, but the early stuff was crap. Has it been a struggle for you when you were sort of putting out music and it wasn't getting recognised? Even though you might look back on it and think it was awful. You know, it's not a struggle. A struggle's when you live in Glasgow and you, you've got no job. And there's miles of grey stone concrete, that's a struggle. It's not a struggle being in a group making your own records. But you've been together five years or whatever and you haven't been recognised. I mean, you must have sort of, when you started off, you wanted to be recognised, obviously. Yeah, but we've always had a belief that we would be, so we can bide our time. <laughs> what do you most fear, then? Police. What do you most fear about the band? It's a bit of a strange question. What do you most fear happening to the band? I'm not thinking me. about. <laughs> I don't have time for negative thinking. 
positive thinking brings its own rewards. You've been documented quite a lot as being anti-royalist. Is the rumour true, Ian, that you've got a Union Jack tattoo on your arm? Yeah. Can I see it then? No. Is it true? Yeah. Why did you get it done then? Fifteen pissed and foolish. <laughs> Why can't we see it? Because it's mine. Are you ashamed about it? No. I'm not proud because pride is sin. Do you think the band are quite schizophrenic in a way because you're completely different outside of interviews? I think everybody's schizophrenic. Everybody's on the verge, everybody's on the edge. Why do you feel you have to be different um, do, doing interviews and... We don't feel um, you have to be different. You do come across as quite a lot different when you do interviews. Thank you. Okay. It's not contrived, this is us. This wants to say, ranting and... Selling our product. What do you want to talk about? Nothing in particular. I thought you were out to sell your product. Thought wrong then. We just wanted to meet you again. <laughs> <laughs> How would you feel when you see people walking out of one of your gigs? What, during the set? Depends what they look like. If they're dressed well, then I'm a bit disappointed. If they're a clown, then I'm not bothered. I don't you get hurt by people who don't like you. Do you think that everybody should like you? Don't expect anything. Yeah, but you say you always say that you expect to be the best band in the world, so. No, we know that we are. We don't expect anyone else to think anything in particular about us. They can think and do what they want. Well, if you're the best band in the world, why aren't you number one? Because the record isn't out yet. Why wasn't your last single number one? Why wasn't the It album takes time for one? people to get, you know, acquainted. It takes time for people to fall in love with you. But it's inevitable, because there's nothing else about. And people have got good taste. Do you think you're superior to a lot of people? Yeah. Is that musicians or people? People. Why? I don't know, it's just a feeling I have. I'm on a false ego trip, and I always have been. Can you accept then that people might think you're rubbish? Yeah. Sometimes we are. <laughs> so, so what games? Blood out of a stone. <laughs> <laughs> Blood out of a stone roses. <laughs> um, what gives the band the greatest buzz, or what gives you the greatest buzz? Sex. Same for most people, isn't it? You're supposed to say ecstasy, don't you? That's what we want. What gives you the greatest buzz, then? Sex again. What about or the band? Or watching John have sex. What about the band? Guitar foreplay. <laughs> don't know. Everything, really. Get a buzz of being alive. Especially interviews. Buzzing now. Would you change anything in your life at the moment? My clothes. Once a day.
went on the right track. How happy would you be if people didn't know about you? Don't know. In our element that people do. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? Eh? This is fun. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to answer, actually. <laughs> That's the answer, I don't know. OK, I was waiting for John to say something. He looked like he was going to perk up there for a I second. I spoke for him. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to check on him, of course. Yeah. Right, I'll go to my second page then, shall I? Go on, then. Well, it's going long. A couple of questions. I'm running out of questions now, bastards. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> um. <clears throat> All right. Do you think that you're all very talented people? I think them three are, yeah. They're my favourite group. John, do you think you're talented? Which area do you feel more talented in your art work or music? Mm, depends which I'm doing at the time. Hey, John. Just have a little. Look through there, mate. <laughs> Look about seventy. Feel it, John. Have you ever exploited anyone or anything to get what you want? Social security. It's easy, isn't it? It's a lot of weak people who are lost, and it's pretty easy to manipulate them. Pretty easy to suck them dry, yeah. Um, is there anything in the interview that you wish you'd really been asked that you haven't covered? I never wish to be asked anything in particular, really, no. Some people write about us to give their opinions of what they think of us. People who interview us to ask the questions they want to ask and just to answer them. Not, there's no... 
statements that we want people to know that we want to say. You have to probe us and poke us and see what happens. Because we're never going to volunteer it all. Mostly because it's too tedious for us. <laughs> Or was there anything you were glad you weren't asked about? No, you've got some odd questions. Can't really give answers to some of them. Anything you're glad you're not asked about? the interview who will. <laughs> <laughs>